So it's 12 o'clock and I've just got some DVDs to burn and send off. Uh, so I need to go to the post office, post them. And then at 2 o'clock I've got an interview that I'm doing with a student at City of Glasgow College. Um, that's the college that I actually went to for a... In fact, I went to that college many times on many different courses, but just sort of every one of them was fairly brief. So yeah, it'll be interesting to go back there and kind of ho hopefully overwhelming feelings of nostalgia will, will take over me. Ooh, I'm pocket just, I'm just filming everything now. <laughs> Butterscotch latte. Butterscotch latte? Yeah. This is Tyler, he brought coffee. Latte. <laughs> oh, you need to do this actually. Uh, can you see some, uh, like it? typically Scottish really uh, slang but an American? Um, Goni no day that? Um, um, mate, you're a pure rocket, by the way. Danny Trio. <laughs> yeah, totally. What's your day? I don't know. You think that you, uh, think that you know me? <laughs> you do not know me. I will cut you to pieces. Good. Yes. How did the show go? Oh, it was great. It was I was going to come up because I was doing a job up there, and I was up there every Wednesday, but then yeah. the job finished, and I was like, fuck! Yeah. It seemed like it was... It was a really cool show. Up. But I was in MTP doing the oh, I was fucking horrible. So it was like lessons, which is oh, which is great. Like it was yeah. good, it was a really good advert. Deirdre from Where Do We Go From Here? Oh amazing. Is up for it. The client had to Skype into the audition. So it was like really weird. So oh, everybody was so confused because oh, oh, oh. the laptop was like right up in my face and then I'm over like the oh, laptop oh. with the camera and I'm just kinda like, eh, I line what? Okay, so we're running a wee bit late. Um so I'm in a bit of a mad rush, but I'm just gonna try and fire a quick bit of dialogue here. Um, I'm going to go to this uh, interview. I'm getting interviewed on a college radio station about the importance or lack thereof of education uh, to work in the creative sector. I have to be there in 20 minutes. Actually, I can see the college from here, I believe, actually. Can I? Um, it's over there somewhere. I mean, it's really close, but I really need to get a coffee, so I'm going to go and get a coffee. I'll try, try and get a coffee in time. Head over there, and I'll be back soon. Did not have time for a coffee. going to do the third floor but there's only a second floor so hopefully I'll be able to find another elevator that takes me to the third floor so we'll be back in this building then you look great I wish like if I knew this was happening I'd be <laughs> sure. more presentable <laughs> <laughs> Is yeah. it like zoomed in on my face it's super wide so it's like yeah, it wide I think ends? pretty much everything is in here um, what did you study <laughs> Everything. Right, so I done TV production when I was 16. I so I, I left school when I was 16. I done TV production for two months, left, hated it, um, and then went on and done like computing, social sciences, like psychology, and then done like media communication, advertising, and public relations. Oh. And uh, yeah, it wasn't until I done media communications, that was actually the last course I done, where I was like, right, well, college isn't really for me. The thing is, in here, oh, everybody oh, uses. Oh, is that loud? Aye. Everyone uses everything, so I don't really know which one's which. It's a pain in the arse. Mm. This is, how was your day today? Uh, my day was good. Yeah, just done a bit of editing, then burned some discs for a wedding client, and then came here. I showered in that time as well. Just so you know. Lovely. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <I'm sorry. laughs> <laughs> so basically somebody is looking for female models so they can take casts of their vaginas for art. Oh. Brilliant. 